Good day everybody. Today we're going to do lesson plan 11, grade 4, term 2. The topic is reading instruments for measuring a length. Um, our link to the DBE book is worksheet 40. I'm quickly going to show you. We're going to go back. Here you have your caps link. Then I'm going to scroll to the resources and the dictionary. So the resources you need to plan. Um, this is just an example of flashcards that you can make um, if you want to do use flashcards when you do mental mathematics um, and then your dictionary words for today estimate and measurement remember those words are to help you to help to teach your child or the learners at school so now we at the mental maths activity so um, i'm just quickly going to remove the answers so what you're going to do is you can ask this orally or they can write down the answers um, so it's time to do these 10 questions i want you then to pause Okay, so today's lesson is then reading instruments for measuring length. So we're going to look at rulers, meter sticks, tape measures, trundle wheels. Um, you might have some of these at home. Um, use those that you have. Um, at school, you need to try to get all of them so learners understand these. So for rulers, we're going to measure in millimeters and centimeters. For, e for examples like books or a desk, a table at home, meter sticks, the front of any room. Um, then for tape measures, we're going to measure in millimeters, centimeters, and meters. It can be your desk um, or the front or the back of a room. And then your trundle wheels, it's always a very nice activity to do outside where we're going to um, measure the length of a sport field or maybe any outside area um, at home. I want you to pause and then we're going to do this activity. Okay, welcome back. So we're going to look at the concept development. So what we're first going to do is we're going to use a ruler um, where, don't, where we don't have um, the millimeter gradi gradations on it. Um, so what we're going to do is we only have centimeters on it and then you can see a half centimeters so um, if we look at this eraser it's more or less two centimeters and seven millimeters so we can say the two centimeters is then 20 millimeters remember use your ruler to help them to convert um, and then what we have is seven, seven millimeters if we then add the 20 millimeters and the seven millimeters we get 27 millimeters um, then the next one is, well, we're going to use a ruler where we can see the millimeters. Um, so check that the learners know to start measuring from zero or to subtract the initial measurement from the final measurement. Um, so very important um, that we start on the zero. Um, it's quite common and often where learners start measuring from one and not the zero. Um, it might be that you need to rewrite um, number, the number line concept with them if you see they do struggle. Um, so let's look at this example then um, where we measure 25 millimeters. Um, so we, if we write it in centimeters and millimeters, this 20 millimeters will then be 2 centimeters and 5 millimeters. Now the 5 millimeters, we can write it then as 2.5 um, this is easy to do because on a ruler, the fifth millimeter gradation line is normally longer. So let's quickly see then. Um, once the learners have learned from reading a commercial mass on capacity packaging, that is 2.5, is the same as 2,5. They will also be able to use the decimal 5 in their recordings, like 2,5 centimeters they don't have to convert um, comma five to half yet they will understand it through using commercial packaging i want you to pause and then do this activity um, also do a few other examples like this then what you're going to ask them is you're going to ask them to estimate the length for instance of a book um, after the estimation, they need to check it and then compare the estimation to the actual measurement. This is very important so they can understand um, length at 
now and at a later stage. Okay, so let's welcome then the learners to the worksheet um, where you're going to complete the worksheet. You'll see there's a lot of practical activities again. Um, there's a problem solving. Um, there's an extra activity. And then lastly, we come to the consolidation. If you ticked everything yes, we're going to carry on with the next lesson. If you have some notes, you revise, revisit, or you contact us at SA Teacher. Thank you.